children. Okay, that's good. YouTube, you can you see? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Today we continue our Dhamma talk on Mangala Sutta. Mangala Sutta. Now I want you to recite after me. Okay. Now I recite, you repeat after me. Today, uh, the first one we uh, first, I mean, first two stanzas we studied earlier. Why? Keep going on there. We'll get it on the YouTube on there. Okay. Uh, one stanza was uh, Asevanatya Balanang. Repeat. I cannot hear you. When they are put them headphones. Okay. Okay, Asevana Jabalanam Sevana Chabalanam Pandita Nancha Sevana Pandita Nancha Sevana Puja Cha Puja Niyanam Puja Cha Puja Niyanam Etang Mangala Muttamang so today we start with next one. Pati Rupa Desa Vasocha Pati Rupa Desa Vasocha Pubbecha Kata Punyata Pubbecha Kata Punyata Atta Samma Panidhicha Atta Samma Panidhicha Etang Mangala Muttamang Etang Mangala Muttamang Again, Pati Rupa Desa Vasocha Pati Rupa Desa Vasocha Pumbeja Kata Punyata Pumbeja Kata Punyata Atta Samma Panidhicha Atta Samma Panidhicha Etang Mangala Muttamang Etang Mangala Muttamang Once again Pati Rupa Desa Vasocha Pati Rupa Desa Vasocha Pubbecha Kata Punyata Pubbecha Kata Punyata Atta Samma Panidhicha Atta Samma Panidhicha Etang Mangala Muttamang Etang Mangala Muttamang The meaning is to reside in a suitable location, to have good past deeds done, to set oneself in the right direction, this is a blessing supreme. There are three blessings listed in today's stanza. First is, today we take the first one out of these three. That is, reside in a suitable location. Suitable location. Living in a suitable location is a blessing. Remember, last time we discussed 
not to associate with the foolish, associate with the wise, and honor those worthy of honoring. Three. You write down. There are. I am going to list all the blessings. What are the three? Not to associate with the foolish or fools. Next is associate with the wise. Third is honor those worthy of honoring. Respect those who are worthy of respect. Okay. Three. Today we start with one of the three is blessings that I mentioned in this stanza. Number one. Today number one. Living in suitable location. Write it down. Living in a suitable location. Okay. <coughs> now, what is the suitable location? That is very, very important to remember. Suitable location is the location where there are four assemblies. Four. Remember that. Suitable location is where the four assemblies live. Assemblies. Who are the four assemblies? What are the four assemblies? The Buddha. Then Sangha. That means Bhikkhus, Bhikkhus. Third, Bhikkhunis. Fourth, Upasaka and Upasikas. Actually, Buddha, Bhikkhus, Buddha is accepted, is an exception. Bhikkhus, Bhikkhunis, Upasakas, and Upasikas. Four assemblies. Who are the Bhikkhus? Monks. Bhikkhunis? Nuns. <coughs> Upasaka? Lay men. Upasika? Lay women. These are four assemblies. <coughs> Buddha's disciples. <coughs> and if you live in such an area, you get blessings. How you get blessings? Because you can see them very often talk to them, <coughs> learn from them, meditate and learn how to meditate. And they are very good, dedicated people, dedicated to Dhamma. And if you live in such an area, it is a blessing. And then, when you recite with them, you have all these benefits. Therefore, it is called blessing. For example, suppose you live in a location where there are monks, nuns, uh, laymen, laywomen. They, whenever you have a problem, Suppose you have a uh, uh, lot of uh, uh, 
difficulties. Uh, so you go to them and then tell your difficulty. They are, self, they are working selflessly. They don't charge you anything. All free consultation. They give you advice how to overcome those difficulties. And they teach you how to make your life happy. And that's a very important thing to learn. And therefore it is a blessing. Then another qual uh, qualification of a suitable location. Number one is four types of assemblies live in that area. Bhikkhu, Bhikkhuni, Upasaka, Upasika. Upasaka means lay person who observe precepts, who live very honest, religious life. Even though he is a lay person, his behavior is very honorable, respectable, observing precepts, and he is an example to others. He is sort of a role model for lay people. Upasika means women. Women who live very noble life, practicing Dhamma, and they observe precepts, they don't break precepts, and live an exemplary life. They are also role model for women, children. And these are the four assemblies. And the other qualification for the lo good location to live, ideal location, these days you hear about ideal location, but the qualities are not uh, these qualities. Another uh, suitable, uh, what you call qualities for suitable location, is where uh, there are no crimes, no crimes, no criminals. They don't uh, kill, they don't steal, uh, they don't, uh, uh, what you call, rape children, and they don't uh, uh, make, uh, deal, deal with uh, illicit drugs, uh, and people who commit those things are committing crimes, and they can uh, make everybody's life very uh, unhappy, miserable. And therefore, a location where you don't find this kind of people, there's a very good location. And then, a location where there is a school, there are schools, you can go easily without any uh, difficulty. Uh, those who live in cities may find schools very easily, but in rural areas, sometimes in some places, we are not thinking only of the United States. We are thinking of any place in the world where there are schools for children to go and study. Schools with all the necessary facilities. You think in America, the schools have all facilities. But there are many countries where they even don't have many schools and they have to either walk or go by bus for many, many miles. And those schools don't have facilities, not good teachers, and therefore these schools are uh, not even having uh, good, uh, what do you call, 
curriculum uh, to learn. But if the schools are in, in, in have the schools having all these facilities uh, to learn any subject they want at their level, that's a very good uh, school. And living in such an area is uh, is a, is a good thing. Is it? That is one uh, requirement. Another thing is there has to be a hospital uh, in close by, so that when you are sick, you can go there. Uh, we are not thinking always of America. America has all these things, but there are countries, places where there are no good hospitals. That is extremely important for our healthy life, to have a good hospital close by. Another is that there must be a police station. Now in America you can get, in today in the 21st century, you can find uh, police, police vans, police cars, police stations, uh, very easily available by calling 911, you get the police, and so forth. But every country doesn't have that. Wherever you have, some countries don't have a police close by. And therefore, having a police also very important. And another qualification is the location where you have a, a place to do your shopping. It may necessarily be a shopping malls like in America, but there must be a place for you to buy whatever you need uh, close by so that you will not have too much difficulties in finding uh, what you need to buy. And also there must be a, a service, ambulance service and uh, fire stations. This also must be available in a location for you to live. And then people must be very friendly. If you live in a location where people are hostile, people are not friendly, then it will be very difficult for you to live in that location. So, uh, I think uh, these are important quali uh, qualities, requirements. In addition to that, if the location is, if location is even better, if there are Buddhist temple, Buddhist temple. Why is that? Buddhist temples are open to people to go any time. Buddhist temples are not open only one particular day, uh, full moon day or new moon day only. They are open for people to go and meet uh, monks, nuns, and uh, dis discuss any Dhamma very easily. And they were having a Buddhist temple is very important. And also a place, a location where you can meet uh, monks and nuns and meditate, learn how to meditate. Especially uh, meditation is uh, also extremely important for our life to make our life more peaceful and happy, uh, to be free from nervous tension, anxiety, worry. You can learn to practice meditation if there is a meditation center close by. And also a location where there is an access or road, uh, if there are uh, river and so forth, 
it has to be a bridge uh, for you to cross very easily. Like that, these facilities are very, very important in a location. Living in such a location is a blessing. Blessing for your education, your good health, your uh, getting your grocery, and uh, having security, having uh, without any hesitation, you can move around. Uh, so that really makes our life very peaceful. And uh, therefore it is a good location. Even the families that uh, in a location, families uh, are living uh, harmoniously, without fighting, without quarreling, uh, without disturbing other neighbors. Uh, the, uh, therefore, that kind of uh, location is very, very important. That is for harmonious livings. Uh, and uh, uh, adults uh, help children. Uh, they take care of children from getting into, prevent them from getting into various type of troubles. Uh, these days, uh, uh, also very important for everybody to remember, there are many people who deal with guns and uh, drugs, uh, alcohol uh, and murder. So in some places uh, you cannot live because so much crimes are there. Uh, I mentioned this earlier, but we have to remember these uh, quality, uh, qualifications are very, very important to, uh, for a good location, not to have the, uh, various violent uh, people around in a location. Therefore, uh, a suitable location is a, a blessing and you can have a good friends. I mentioned last time associating with good friends is a blessing. We mentioned it uh, in our uh, second talk. Now, you can in good location, you can find good friends uh, who are uh, supporting you, who don't take advantage of you, uh, make you upset all the time, and they make your life uh, uh, happy. So, uh, these are the qualities of good location. If you dwell, uh, find a place uh, to live in such a place, you experience very uh, happy uh, life. So, uh, this is the number uh, one of today's uh, stanza. That is, Pati Rupa Desava Soja, living in suitable location, living in suitable location is a blessing. Uh, I like you to uh, think about it and now you can ask me questions. Uh, every time I give a talk, I g spend one half of my time to give the talk and the other half I spend with you answering your questions. Now, I'm happy to see today uh, 29 people are there 
And I hope you have some questions out of this little talk, and you ask me those questions. Yes, what is your question? You mentioned a place better than is suitable. You said, um, hey, uh, what is the best place to reside? Better place or best place? Yeah, the best place. You said that there is suitable and then there was a better than suitable. Okay. Better than suitable is the place where you find all of them, all these qualities. Now, other places, even if you have one, if you, if uh, some of them are not available, and uh, still there are good locations. Uh, for instance, uh, you may not find a, a shopping mall close by, and uh, still it's a good location. Uh, even if one of these qualities are missing in certain location, that place is good. More of these qualities are there, the better. All of these qualities are there, that is the best. Okay? Yes, thank you, Bhante. Very good. Very good question. Anybody else? This boy is a small boy. Who asked the first question? <laughs> eh? <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, te tehasa. Te How do you know if it's a suitable location? You don't know? How do you know if it's a suitable location, if you've never been there? I see. That's a good question. If you have never been there, you don't know. But there's a way to know. You can inquire. You can visit the place. You can ask questions in that neighborhood. And these days, uh, there are various means to know. Use your, uh, what you call internet, Google, and uh, send uh, messages to someone in that area. And there has to be a, a way to find out, ask him questions. Only then you will know how many of these qualities are there in, the, in that particular area before you move to that area. Okay? Yes. If you have not been there, you have to uh, go, uh, inquire, uh, then you will come to know whether the, the place is good or bad. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Bhante, I have a question. Yes. To be considered a upasika, does um, do you just have to go to temple, or is there like further, like requisites that you have to fall into? Oh, who is asking the question? Anudi, Bhante. Adi, Adi. Okay. One Anudi, I see, I see. Anudi, oh, Nivan. Anudi, okay. You don't uh, necessarily have to be in a temple or going to temple all the time. You can observe this uh, principle uh, being at home. Uh, if there is no temple close by for a person to go very often, person can observe these principles uh, from home. Uh, it's a matter of practicing rather than uh, going to another place. So, uh, whether man or woman, uh, boy or girl, while 
living at home uh, understand these principles and see how harmful some of these uh, wrong things, harmful to you, harmful to others, harmful to everybody. So these things we avoid and uh, live very peaceful, honest life at home. Uh, in addition, if you have time, you can go to uh, uh, monasteries occasionally, like full moon days, new moon days. If you are if you are very busy with various things, you very conscientiously practice these very good principles. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Bhante. You are welcome. <coughs> Bhante, I have a question. Yes? Anaya? If yes. you... If you follow what the Buddha says, could you still survive in a, a bad place? Uh, yes. Could you repeat the question? I was not listening, hearing that well. So, if you follow what the Buddha says, could you still survive in a bad place? Surviving? So okay. If you could not find a place like that? Yeah. And then uh, uh, how to survive another place which don't have all these qualities? Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, it'll be, there may not be one place without any of these qualities. Okay, sometimes some of them are not available, but some of them are available. And therefore, you have to uh, make the best use of what is available. And uh, moreover, uh, it is uh, mostly up to us. If the quality, all these uh, important qualities are not available, as I mentioned, there may not be one single place without any of these qualities. There may be some of them, uh, some of them may not be available. And therefore you have to uh, make the best use of what is available and try to, uh, if possible, without forcing, try to influence others in the neighborhood to follow the good principles by setting yourself an example. Suppose uh, uh, neighborhood is uh, uh, unfriendly, uh, you try to be friendly with them and uh, show them or tell them the benefit of being friendly, of course, we don't have to tell people anything about the benefit of being friendly. They understand it. Uh, if someone uh, deliberately try to make you unhappy, uh, then uh, you have to uh, show your compassion, your kindness, and uh, respect them and try to bring their attention to the correct way. That way you have to do some uh, additional work to make it work in such a uh, place where you don't find all these qualities. Unfortunately, sometimes people don't have all the necessary means to find the suitable place. For instance, there is a you are looking for a place and there is no place you can afford to uh, live, uh, expensive and so forth, but there are some less expensive places uh, where there are uh, factories, noisy factories, and factories that uh, uh, produce a lot of toxic material and 
release them to the environment, uh, pollute the environment, and so forth. There are so many other uh, unhealthy uh, things going on in that location. But if there is nothing else for you to move into according to your means, you have to live there and take as much precautions as possible to maintain your health. That's what we have to do. <coughs> Thank you, Bhante. You are welcome. Uh, Which of the qualities is the best yeah, quality? Uh, yeah. Which one of the qualities is the best quality? One of the qualities are the best qualities? Okay. I think best qualities are... Uh, what is most important in our life? Uh, you know, for um, children, a school must be, uh, there must be a, close, a school close by. That's a very important thing. Uh, or transportation to go to another school or another place. These are very important. And uh, hospitals, police uh, and ambulance service. These are the basic necessary qualities to make a place uh, good. As I mentioned, if all the qualities are there, that is the best. Okay? Yes. Thank you. You are welcome. Uh, any other question? Now, I ask you a question. How many of these qualities do you find in your location? <laughs> do you find all these qualities in your location where you live? Well, we have good people. Huh? Seven or six. We have good school. Uh -huh. Yes. Where I live, we have mostly everything. Uh -huh. We have a good community. You have all these qualities in your, in the location you live. How about the temple? Yeah, we have a temple nearby. Me too. Nearby? Okay. Yes. That's very good. So, um, then uh, shopping mall, hospitals, and. Uh, uh, police stations. How about crimes? There's still some. some. Huh? In your area, are there crimes? No? <laughs> yes? In the place where I live, only one crime happened, and that's it. Ah, uh, in one year? 
No, just one time. Only one time? Yeah. So you are living in a very good location. If it is a crime happened only once, that location is good. Yeah. And uh, you experience uh, safety, security, and you can move around without any fear. Uh, so you can make uh, good friends and so forth. I think that. So, do you feel happy to live in such an area? Surely, if you feel happy, and if you are happy, that's a good place, and that is a blessing. Blessing is that whatever conditions available, and those conditions make you happy and peaceful. That is the blessing. So you have this blessing. Okay, you have this blessing. Okay. And uh, anybody else? Any question? Okay, I want you to uh, memorize the stanzas that we recited. I want to repeat them again and again until you remember them, because this is a very important uh, uh, sutra, important discourse. Uh, most adults know this by heart, and uh, you learn it by heart with the meaning. Most people learn these uh, sutras by heart, but uh, they know, some of them know the meaning, some of them don't know. Now, you are very lucky to learn the sutra plus the meaning. Okay? Now, let us all together, without any hesitation, don't uh, feel shy. When you all recite together, you all can remember it. I want to repeat it uh, several times with you so that you can remember. Every time I recite, uh, you uh, repeat after me, okay? First one. I, the first one, uh, there are uh, introductory stanza which I don't recite right now. Later on I can recite it for you. But what I am going to recite are the the beginning of the blessings, not the question, not the request, uh, not the introduction, uh, which you can learn later on, but uh, only the blessing that started. Okay, all right. One, two, three. Aseva nach balanam. Pandita Nanch Sevana Pandita Nanch Sevana Puja Niyanang Etang Mangala Muttamang Again, Aseva Nacha Balanang Aseva Nacha Balanang Pandita Nancha Sevana Pandita Nancha Sevana Puja Cha Puja Niyanang Etang Mangala Muttamang Etang Mangala Muttamang Aseva Nacha Balanang Aseva Nacha Balanang 
पंडिता सेवना पूजा च पूजनीया मंगलमुत्तम असेवना मीन्स नॉट टू एसोसिएट सेवना मीन्स टू एसोसिएट असेवना मीन्स नॉट टू एसोसिएट बाला द फूल्स बाला मीन्स fools i explain who the fools are can you tell me who the fools are some of the things yes who commit crimes one who commit crimes yes one who commit crimes is a fool yes you people who are greedy eh huh? people who are greedy very greedy yes yes another is liar yeah and uh, fools are those who do wrong things and suffer by doing wrong things they suffer and they cause suffering to others they make their life miserable and they make others life miserable they make their life unhappy they make others life unhappy they le- they make uh, their life unhappy now and therefore they make uh, their life unhappy in future so always he fool commits uh, uh, such an event such an deed such a deed that uh, uh, he regrets or he or she regrets and other he makes others regret Okay, not to associate such a persons. Okay, asevana ch bala nang pandita. Who are the pandita? Means the wise. The wise person are called pandita. Pandit. Pandit. That word is used even in English as pandit. Wise person. Sevana means associate. associate with the wise puja means respect honor puja you say you go to the temple and do the puja offering but puja also means respect puja pujaniya means respectable worthy of respect Pujaniya means worthy of respect. Etang means this. Etang means this. Mangalang, Mangalam means blessing. Uttamang means supreme. Mangalang Uttamang makes Mangalam Uttamang. Etang Mangalang Uttamang. This is. supreme blessing okay and the next answer next answer today we started that patirup desh vaso cha patirup desh vaso cha pubbe cha kat punyata पुण्यता अत्त सम्मापनिधि च 
Again, Patirupa Desh Patirupa means suitable. Patirupa means suitable. Desha means location. We call Desha area or country. Here we use Desha for location. Patirupa means suitable. Patirupa means suitable. Desha means location. Patirupa desha vasa. Vasa means living. Vasocha means living. Living in suitable location. Patirupa desha vasocha. Pubbe. Pubbe means previously. In the past. Pubbe means in the past. Previously. Kata punyata. Punya means meritorious deeds. Kata means done. Kata means having done meritorious deeds. Atta means oneself. Samma means well. Panidhi means discipline. We explain all these things later in detail. Now let us recite the stanza once again. Patirupa desa vasocha. Patirupa desa vasocha. Pubbecha kata punyata. Pubbecha kata punyata. Atta samma panidhicha. Atta samma panidhicha. Etang mangalang uttamang. Etang mangalang uttamang. Patirupa desa vasocha. Patirupa desa vasocha. Pubbecha kata punyata. Pubbecha kata punyata. Atta. Atta samma panidhicha. Atta samma panidhicha. Etang mangalang uttamang. Etang mangalang uttamang. Again, patirupa desa vasocha. Patirupa desa vasocha. Pubbecha. Kata punyata. Pumbeja kata punyata. Atta samma panidhicha. Atta samma panidhicha. Etang mangalang uttamang. Etang mangalang uttamang. You write it down. Write it down. Then it will be easy for you to remember. Okay. You write in Roman characters. Uh, I will I will spell. Pati Rupa. P A T I R U P A. Pati Rupa. Desa. D E S A Desa Vaso V A S O Vasa Vaso Ch C A <coughs> Next line Pubbe P U B B E Pubbe, P-U-B-B-E, Pubbe, Cha, C-A, Cha means and, you know, Cha means and in English, 
खत के ए टी ए खत पुण्यता पी यू एन एन टी ए पुण्यता खत पुण्यता नेक्स्ट लाइन अत ए टी टी ए अत सम एस एम एम ए सम फनिधि पी ए एन आई डी एच आई डी एस डॉग सम फनिधि then c again c a a tang e t m m lies mary e t a m mangalam m a n g s god a T S Tom A M S Mary Mangalang Uttamang U T T A M A M Uttamang Now look at it and say look at what you have written now it is easy for you to repeat after me pati roop desh vaso cha pati roop desh vaso cha pubbe cha kat punyata pubbe cha kat punyata at मंगल उत्तम नाउ इजी टू रीड ओके रिमेम्बर इन इंग्लिश यू राइट इट डाउन टू रिसाइड in a suitable location to live in a suitable location next line to have good past deeds done to have good past deeds done next line to set one self in the right direction to set one self in the right direction last line this is a blessing supreme okay that is the today's uh, stanza we discussed only one of these three there are three blessings what are the three reside in the suitable location is one have good past deeds done is the second third is to set oneself in the right direction three three blessings we mentioned here and we discussed only one of them that is residing in the suitable location 
Friends, these are all practical blessings, practical. And if we follow these principles, we, our life is full of happiness. Our life has blessings. Okay, there are 38 of them. We mention, we discuss only four, not to associate with the foolish one, to associate with the wise two, and honor those worthy of honoring. Three, number four is living in a suitable location. Out of 38, we discuss only four. How many more remains? Thirty-four. 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 So we have to spend thirty more talks. We have to listen to thirty more talks. Each talk will be only one half hour. Half hour. And then half hour we spend discussing that blessing every day. Children, I told our adults that from the 15th of December till the 15th of March, I am taking vacation. But, but for your sake, I see so many children are today. At the beginning, there were only five. Today, I saw almost 33. Very good number. Keep increasing and come into this class and learn more and more Dhamma. And for your sake, therefore, I sacrifice one hour every Sunday at three o'clock. So you must be present and ask more children to come and join this class and you will learn something new always. Good luck and have a have wonderful day. Okay? Thank you, Bhante. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Very good. Okay.